are you born? It is Sunday and this Sunday afternoon we are at the Abubula, our Barbarine Art and Jungle Lodge in the central part of Sri Lanka. It is in the cultural centre of Sri Lanka, in fact, where we have several World Heritage Sites and a national reservoir and park. And it's a beautiful place, a little forest, a sylvan glade, all shades of green. And I'm happy to connect with you. Today is our day for some quiet reflection meditation, to try and achieve a sense of calmness, a sense of peace and to bring our mind and our hearts to one point, to the now. And in Sri Lanka, as I have told you before, before we engage in any spiritual activity, we observe and pay homage to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. And I would like you to repeat after me, because after several weeks, I think some of you will find this familiar. So repeat after me the, these three stanzas, which is I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dhamma, and I take refuge in the Sangha. We bring our hands together in respect. Buddha Saranang Gachami. I take refuge in the Buddha. Dhammang saranang gachami. Repeat after me. Dhammang saranang gachami. I take refuge in the Dhamma. Sangang saranang gachami. I take refuge in the Sangha. Once again, all together. Buddha Saranang Gachami. Dhamma Saranang Gachami. Sangha Saranang Gachami. Once again. Buddha Saranang Gachami Dhamma Saranang Gachami Sangha Saranang Gachami So we have all had a busy week. Sunday is a day of rest. And I know that in the northern part of the world, where many of our guests reside, it is becoming cold, the winter is approaching, and we bring you some sunshine and warmth to your hearts and to your minds and to your lives. Today, we can engage in some reflection and we will do again the meditation on the breath. Samatha Bhavana, as we call in Buddhism. The concentration on the breath. We also call it Anapanasati. It is the basic meditation under which the Buddha attained enlightenment. And he taught us many different kinds of meditation. But he said, 
this is the first one and this is the center and this is the base of all other meditation and it is simple it is meritorious it brings us good merit in our world in the worlds that we will be in it gives us and brings us instant good fortune clarity consciousness concentration so it is a simple meditation we focus on what is closest to us what is always with us and that's our breath so we can close our eyes so that we avoid some of the distractions of sight and after about 10 minutes i will lead you through the meditation on loving kindness that is the other meditation we can do every morning every evening even for 10 15 minutes so let's begin Let's gently find our breath. breathing in and breathing out if you can't find your breath draw in a sharp breath and you can feel the breath in your nostrils in your stomach in your chest and lungs rise and fall rise and fall inhale exhale inhale exhale breathing in and breathing out
and while you are seated bring your awareness to your body you may be seated cross-legged and i told you if you sit cross-legged there is an advantage your back immediately becomes straight spine is erect but be comfortable or sit on a chair you can even lie on the bed where i am seated on this little plateau which lucky has built with his sculptures around me rustic tranquil bird songs the sound of water gently trickling around me a calm tranquil environment but within me i am still trying to settle down and i too am deeply grateful for this opportunity to take some time to bring myself into one point bring your awareness to your body be aware how you feel in your body physically and your mind may be running around asking questions thinking of things to do let it be don't try to still your thoughts just let it be it will flap around and settle down and bring your awareness to what you feel within your comfort within we try very hard to make ourselves comfortable on the outside see whether you are comfortable within yourself if you have anger if you have fear or doubt or anxiety then it is difficult to be comfortable within yourself and at this moment keep those things on the ground as i have on this flat space let go of them they bring us nothing in this moment you have nothing to fear and our day is made up of moments 
So in each moment we have nothing to fear. Breathing in and breathing out. And now that we have calmed our mind, our heart, let us move on to the meditation on loving kindness. In this meditation, we start with ourselves, we move out in circles to the rest of the world and we bring our focus back to ourselves. And soon the sun will set and the moon will appear And let us imagine a beautiful silver moon in Sri Lanka. It is three quarters full. Still there is a lot of light. And imagine this beautiful light 
falling on you, shining on you. comforting you, holding you. And think deeply and sincerely. May I be well. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be free from suffering. And now bring to mind your parents, your mother and father. They may still be with you or they may have passed on. Whatever those circumstances, bring them to mind and let them be bathed in this beautiful moonlight. And think deeply and sincerely. May they be well. May they be happy. May they be free of suffering. Whatever our relationships with our parents, sometimes they are good, sometimes they are smooth, sometimes they are stormy. At this moment, let your compassion flow to them and think deeply and sincerely. May they be well. May they be happy. May they be free of suffering.
and now bring to mind your partner if you have a partner your brothers and sisters if you have them children if you have them draw them close let your compassion flow to them and think deeply and sincerely may they be well may they be healthy may they be happy may they be free of suffering hold that thought in your head hold that feeling of compassion in your heart and now bring your attention to your friends to your colleagues to your neighbors people whom you like gather them close to you let your compassion flow to them and think deeply and sincerely may they be well may they be healthy may they be happy may they be free of suffering
may they be well may they be healthy may they be happy may they be free of suffering and now bring to attention the people whom you do not like people who have harmed you people who have betrayed you people who have wronged you people with whom you have taken offense bring them all to your mind they all have their own story and at this moment let your compassion go to them and think deeply and sincerely may they be well may they be healthy may they be happy may they be free of suffering and sometimes there are circumstances which we find very difficult to forgive we can't bring ourselves to forgive there are such serious issues but we have to acknowledge the fact that these bring us the burden they bring us the heavy heart they imprison us in our thoughts and so we can consider severing these you let go you cut it off you do not say that what they did was right or wrong you do not condone it you note it and you let it go so that you are free of the problem so you secure your own freedom deeply and sincerely may they be well may they be healthy may they be happy may they be free of suffering
And now let's extend our compassion to the rest of the world, to all of the world. Let your loving kindness flow from where you are to the rest of the world. And in your mind's eye, you see people you know and love. You see people whom you know and do not like. You see people whom you do not know and whom you do not like. And you see people whom you neither like nor dislike. And you see animals and birds and butterflies and dragonflies and bees and the trees, the living trees. And you look down in compassion and you think deeply and sincerely. May all beings be well. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free of suffering. deeply and sincerely while this beautiful moonlight is shining on the world and all of us living in it. May all beings be well. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free of suffering. And now bring your attention back to yourself. And let you be bathed in that beautiful moonlight, silver light. And think deeply and sincerely, may I be well. May I be healthy, may I be happy, may I be free of suffering. deeply and sincerely. May I be well. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be free of suffering. If we want to be compassionate towards others, we must first be compassionate 
to, towards ourselves. Kindness must begin with us. And as you begin to bring your attention to yourself, you can note the breath coming in and the breath going out. Connect to the rhythm of that breath, in and out. The breath comes in bringing us the gift of life, goes out after cleansing, comes again with the gift of life. Feel that sense of calmness that this focus brings by no means perfect but it is happening and when you draw a short bit breath Note that it is a short breath. When you draw a long breath, note that it is a long breath. You can practice this Samatha Bhavana meditation on one pointedness anywhere while you are walking, while you are seated waiting for someone, while you are in the bus, while you are eating. You can focus on the eating and on the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And now, when you are ready, you can gently open your eyes. And while we still have this sense of calmness, I will recite for you a little stanza of what the Buddha has taught us. And this little stanza, this little prayer, seeks the protection of the Buddha 
the Dhamma and the Sangha. Sabbitiyo vivajjantu sabbarogo vinasatu May I enjoy the good fortune of good health. Bhavatu sabba mangalang rakkantu sabba devata sabba buddha nubhavena sada sutta May I receive the blessings of the Buddha. Bhavatu sabba mangalang rakkantu sabba devata sabba dhamma nubhavena sada sutti bhavantu me May I receive the blessings of the Dhamma. Bhavatu sabba mangalang rakkantu sabba devata sabba sangha nubhavena sada sutti bhavantu me And so we come to the end of another session on this first Sunday of the month of December and we have engaged in quietening our mind, quietening our body and quietening our feelings and practiced concentration. And I hope you have enjoyed it, benefited and that you will continue to practice not on Sunday but every day whenever you can. So I will leave you now. Thank you for joining and have a good Sunday. Are you born?